So we are Shishira and now we need to chartered accountants from Bangalore trying to explore this world on a tiny budget of $30 a day. And today we are here in Baku, the capital city of Azerbaijan. And this is my 28th country and Shish is 25th country. Anyways, we are here now in the Caucasus region for the first time in our lives and we are just kicking off this brand new adventure in this country. But our plan is to just get a vibe of the city and the country in general and so, just walk around. Yeah, let's just take a walk and see what the city has to offer. Oh, what is that? Ice cream for one. A travel later under the road just to cross it. Whoa. First time I've seen something like that. And we've just now made it to the coast. Caspian Sea! Can't believe we finally made it here. So this entire stretch goes up from the east side of the city all the way down to the south. Like it has a little bit of a curve. And at the end of this is the famous uh, flame towers. So we've just started walking from this place called as the Bulwar Park Mall. And we got here by walking from our homestay and from here. It's about a three kilometer walk on what is called as the boulevard alongside the Caspian Sea. Also, we've never seen this before, but these cacti seem to have some fruits on them. It's not just Indians who scribble on monuments. Did you know that this city is the lowest capital city in the world? It's about 28 meters below the sea level. And this entire city therefore features a very different kind of climate. Baku is actually said to have the same annual average temperature as planet Earth, which is 14 degrees, which is so crazy. I never thought that there was a number like that or a stat or a fact like that. And the Caspian Sea that you see behind us is actually bordered by multiple countries. Uh, you have Russia on one side, on the north, and then you have Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan and I think Iran also. So these many countries actually border the Caspian Sea and it's currently the world's largest inland sea. You remember we went to Istikul in Kyrgyzstan? That is the second largest now. And if probably the Aral Sea existed, that would be up there as well. And this is entirely salt water. <clears throat> so should we jump and see if we'll float? You see, this is why we have so many bloopers. <laughs> Azerbaijan, by the way, is one of the world's largest natural gas reserves holder and because of that they also have this title where they're called the land of fire 
um, it's pretty crazy because in many places apparently there's like fire just blowing out of the ground the currency here is called manat azerbaijani manat one manat is approximately equal to around 49 to 50 indian rupees yeah and the manat also is broken down into something called chepik so it's one so manat it's difficult to pronounce it chepik chepik <laughs> one manat makes up around 100, 100. of these I really liked this city because like all the buildings they're like so like thick and tall and they're all like, sandstone colors it's so pretty to walk in between them there are they've kept these pots and plants at every corner yeah, it the, just looks so beautiful i feel like like as if you're in europe yeah this city is definitely a mix of the two cultures asia and europe and that happens to be because of the geographical location The Caucasus is what splits this part of the world between the two continents, and on the other side you find the more European, uh, you know, cultures which are Turkey and Russia and beyond. And on this side you have the rest of Central Asia and then South Asia. So this one makes like the perfect inroad between the two, and therefore you see people celebrating both cultures not only in their appearance or their dressing style, even in their food, even in the way. these buildings are designed like it's really nice i know it's a lot to determine from our first impressions but this is something we've already felt so strongly just by walking on the streets yeah. looking at small cafes and things like that so i just thought we'll share it with you and by the way guys uh, just wanted to apologize we still haven't sent out the postcards because a lot has happened in the last few months because of which we've just not been able to do it but I we know finally we shouldn't be telling reasons for yeah, it but, but we yeah. finally got around to writing our first postcard so these go out to shoma and it's already posted ah yeah. okay so our first postcards just left the building uh, to shoma and tegu i'm so sorry guys but i know it's been like a few months now but uh, it felt really nice to be writing our first ever postcards we've also picked out people who will be receiving in our postcards for the next countries like all the thans yeah so we we are working on them now and hopefully we can send it out very very soon we'll be reaching out to you guys to get your addresses so we can post it as soon as possible yeah. from baku maybe maybe from baku also there's another new thing we've started uh, it's called the postcard club for anyone who's interested in receiving a postcard from us from different parts of the world and and if you want to support us in some way it's a great combination so this postcard club is there on our uh, buy me a coffee link which we've just put down in description i think we'll also tag it up here so once you go there you can just sign up to become a member of our postcard club and we'll every time every month you'll be receiving a handwritten postcard from either me or naomi or both oh yeah oh. maybe <laughs> so hope to see you on our postcard mailing list soon <laughs> If Cola could just sponsor our videos, we would be millionaires by now. What are you saying? Billionaires. Billionaires. The B. Where is Little Venice? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. <coughs> right Now Neet and his best friend Kola. Azerbaijan's flag has three main colors: the blue, red, and the green. The blue represents its Turkic origin. The red represents the development and the progression in the modern country. And then the green represents the Muslim religion in this country. Also, you will observe a moon and a star in the center, which again represents Islam. And if you observe closely, the star has eight spokes, which is actually the eight letters. But Azerbaijan is written in Arabic. Perfect. Thank you. At the 
end of the boulevard there's a place called Little Venice and now we're going on a small boat ride in Mini Venice. It's gonna be five minutes long and it cost us three manas per person. That's around 150 Indian rupees. It's gonna be worth it. Now we are on the boat. We waited like for one and a half hours for this boat ride. It better be worth it, huh? Yeah. Ooh, we're going in this on the electric boat. Wow. Look at the big queue that we just escaped from. So many people. Everybody thinks it's a very, very fun ride. We thought so too and now we've come. Will it live up to the name? Wait and watch. Am I in Venice? A little bit of Italy in Azerbaijan? The only thing she <laughs> likes about Venice, I mean, the only thing she likes just about Italy is pizza. It's she just wants. Just imagine, want have, just imagine like, going on this boat ride and having a big pizza. While on the boat? Yeah, of course. So, Schengen authorities, please note that Shishira's intention for coming to the Schengen region is not really to travel, it's just for food. I think we need a whole new visa for this. Ooh, the last time we were on a boat was in um, Vietnam, in Tamco. No, no, Tranga. Tranga. It's dark. Oh, we're going inside a tunnel now. Which darkness? Oh, tunnel! I think this would have been better with some light. Just got blown away by Baku. <laughs> yes, I did. So, thanks you guys for coming along and exploring Baku with us today. We enjoyed our first day here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, but. <laughs> 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 <laughs>